Hey what's going on Travis Red again just hitting you guys up with another video if you're new to my channel welcome um, so guys today I'm going to be trying to make um, a smudge stick because basically um, at the garden um, the community centre that I volunteer at um, I was doing a bit of gardening and I noticed that um, I was looking at this plant and I was like you know what I was just drawn to it I was just drawn to it I don't know why I was just just guided to it for some reason and I was like oh is this plant sage for some reason and then the guy was like yeah and I was like oh interesting I don't know why I was just drawn to it and I just thought it was sage like sage just popped into my head and then for some reason I was like oh you know what um I bet I could make a, a smudge stick out of it because um sage and white sage they're the same family so I was like all right let me try it so I cut a bit off and I took it home I let it dry out and I thought it wasn't, wasn't gonna work I didn't it wasn't a big a bit a big bit I just um, it was just like a leaf or whatever just to, to just to try it out and as soon as it dried out it, it was but it's basically white sage and it smells exactly the same and everything so I'm gonna be trying to I'm gonna be cutting some down today and I'm gonna be um, making a smudge stick but I'm going to sh show you how I'm going to be doing it anyway but I'll show you some of the sage anyway guys so this is sage and like it's got it's like it's like furry leaves and um, it's like you can smell it and it's not, it does actually smell like the white sage that you burn but it's the same kind of family um, you can also use it as a herb so you can use it as a, um, I made a tea from it the other week and the tea was actually quite great and you can actually smoke it as well, I haven't smoked it yet but um, yeah we're just going to be using some of this to make um, the smudge stick anyway and this plant's also sage um, this one looks more whiter so this looks like more like white sage this one because the leaves are more whiter and they're more furry than the other ones so I'm going to be taking some of this one as well but yeah, I'm not trying to take the piss. Um, so I'm just going to cut it from the back here. But I did take cuts, yeah. So that's what it's like. And obviously when you wrap it together, it will be something like that. Or your smudge stick. So it's pretty interesting, man. It's cool. Alright guys, so I think I've got enough sage. I've got quite a lot. Because when it dries, um, it reduces in size quite dramatically so I'm just going to leave this on when I get home I'm going to just leave this on the windowsill to dry out um, for about maybe about a week or so depending on the weather and um, to let it dry out um, I guess if you're that like, if you're in a hot country obviously they'll just dry out within a few days or so um, or you can put them under the radiator under the radiator to make them dry out faster but um, yeah I'm just going to put these to one side to dry out and then, um, yeah, I'm going to be wrapping them, man, just to make a um, homemade smudge, smudge stick. Pretty cool. All right, guys, so I'm home now. Um, so, yeah, I'm just going to put this sage on the windowsill on some newspaper to dry out. I'm just going to leave it on the windowsill to dry out a little bit on some newspaper because the newspaper absorbs like the moisture and stuff and the sun's starting to come out so hopefully um, they should dry it quicker um, yeah so I'm just going to leave this here for I don't know maybe five days or something and then um, five days to a week uh, to see if it's dried out and then once it's dried out um, yeah I'm going to start wrapping them man alright guys so it's been about a week and my sage is dried um, I'm not going to be using these ones because these ones look a bit funky um, but yeah these ones are all dried out now and they still look quite white which I'm quite surprised about not surprised but um, they look very similar to the white sage like I was saying because they're the same family so I'm going to just be using these um, yeah I'm just going to start wrapping them man alright guys so I'm just going to start wrapping this I have no idea what I'm going to be doing but we're just going to be doing it anyway and that's white sage and as you can see that's the normal sage so that yeah it looks very similar and they're the same kind of family anyway so um yeah i'm just going to be wrapping wrapping this up 
and we'll see how it comes out man all right guys so that's going to be my center bit and i'm just going to be wrapping the other bits of sage around it basically to form my smudge stick put the small bits in there But it's as very it's exactly the same as um sage. But this is just um sorry, white sage, but this is just sage, normal sage. And I'm gonna be using um hemp rope or string to just tie it together. And I'm just gonna knot that, and that's basically my homemade smudge stick, man. I'm just gonna knot that, and then I'm gonna cut that bit off as well. And that's basically we're done. So I just went round it just one more time with some more string to hold it more together, but um, that's the end result of the smudge stick, man. I'm gonna try it out right now to show you guys as well but yeah it just looks just like the sage it smells exactly like the sage when you're burning it as well man it's pretty cool it's quite a big bit as well from mother earth as well so i'm going to be definitely using this for the full moon tonight Yeah, that's how you make a homemade smudge stick man if you like the video guys like share subscribe hit the comments below and thanks for watching man i'm gonna be cleansing the whole house with this today for the full moon hope everyone enjoys the full moon peace love and light guys